welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a buttercream leopard print cake and in front of me I've got all the items that I'm going to need for this cake and I'm going to start off first of all I've got some uh, uh, polystyrene bubbles that I have dipped in chocolate and I will show you just now how we do that and I've used color mill I've used these three colors in front of me the blush the candy and the yellow to get this lovely peach color and I've got two silk flowers and I've got a laser cut happy birthday that's going to go on top and I've got my buttercream I've got plain white and then I've got a lovely peach color now to get this peach color I've used the color bursts colors the bright orange and the rose pink and I've just put a a little drop of each into the buttercream and mixed it and I've just let it the color develop and I've also added a delicious tropical coconut flavoring to the buttercream and I've also got my covered board here's my board all covered and I've got my 15 centimeter cake already ganached it's been in the fridge it's been setting and it's ready for me now to cover but before we start that, I'm just going to quickly show you how to cover your polystyrene balls. You can make these out of chocolate as well, but, um, or you can do them out of sugar paste. But it's quite heavy on the cakes and I find the polystyrene balls work really well. And you just need to remember to tell your client they're not edible. Don't forget that. So all I've done is I've popped a toothpick into a ball and I'm going to just dip it in the chocolate. It's a bit like making cake pops. And just dip it into the chocolate. And just let that chocolate drip off and you can give it a couple of coats especially when you come to the color and just let that drip and once it's set it's ready to go on the cake and that's going to go onto the polystyrene now to set Getting the excess chocolate off there. And there we go. And it coats them nice and smooth. And you can also paint them. Um, I've painted some gold. Again, they're not edible. But just remember to tell your clients that. So I'm just going to pop that there and that's going to set there. Ready for me to use. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to cover the cake with the peach icing, the whole cake. And this is a semi-fault line cake, so we're only going to have a, a one fault line on it, not the double. Just coat this. delicious my icing's a little bit on the soft side so what I'm going to do once I'm finished this I'm going to pop it in the fridge let it set for a bit and then I'm going to uh, smooth it and add the fault line on it Give this a scrape, starting at the front and opposite directions with your hands. Smoothing around the base, 
I'm not worried about any imperfections because that's all going to be smoothed out just now when I use a cake cloth. So that's now going to go into the fridge to set before I can do anything else with it. Okay, so my cake has been in the fridge for about five minutes and I'm just going to smooth everything over with the cake cloth. And if you watch my previous tutorials, you'll see that it's the cake cloth from Queen of Hearts Cake Couture. And you can buy this at most of your online baking stores. And it just smooths everything off nice and smooth. Buttercream will never look better. Right. I'm just going to work this cake all the way around, make sure I'm happy with it before I add the fault line. Now I've got a, it's quite um, thin round there, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm still got to add more icing to this, so it will cover that. your icing is a little bit on the soft side just to leave it a little bit longer to set before you work with the cake cloth otherwise it's going to stick to your, your cloth as you pull it away. buttercream and I've got some in a piping bag so I'm just going to add to the, the, the second half of the cake the bottom half and I'm just going to create a bit of a fault line as well as I'm going around cake before and I will post the link to that in the description box below if you want to do one of those right. okay so now I'm just going to smooth that down nice and thick there because I still want to paint that gold all around the edge here. All right, so again I'm going to let this set. I'm just going to pop it in the fridge because this needs to set now before I can do anything else with it. I'm first going to smooth it down and then paint on it but I have to have it set before I can do that. So that's going to go back in the fridge for about another 5-10 minutes. Right, so the cake's been in the fridge and it's been chilled and it's touch dry so I can just even off around the edge on that fault line with the cake cloth just to give it a nice smooth finish. And then I'm going to pop it onto the board, put it back in the fridge just for a few more minutes to keep it nice and chilled before I can paint on it. And that's when we're going to paint the leopard spots.
and if you can hear the goose, it's outside wanting to be fed. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to just put some chocolate onto that board. And this is to stick the cake down onto the board without it moving around. Okay, so I'm just going to take the cake off here and pop it onto the board. knife and place it in the center don't worry about the marks on the icing we can adjust that now now there we go right. just going to pop that back onto the board Move that down. We have my fingers are caught it. That's going to go back in the fridge and I'm going to let that set before I can do anything else with it. Right, so now the cake's set and I can finish decorating and here I've got some silk flowers and you can get these from any of your homeware shops and I'm just going to insert those directly into the cake. There's no contamination. Um, if they were fresh flowers, I would put a straw in there. I would wrap the stalk with some florist tape and insert it into the straw. Right, so let's just pop that in there. Same with this one, pop it at the side, and we're going to put the happy birthday chopper in there, at the side, and we can add the bulbils. I've left the toothpicks on them, so they're much easier to insert. to add the leopard print around the base. Um, just before I do that I just want to add a few little um, spots of icing on the top. And I'm just going to place a macaron in the gap there. And I have a perfectly coloured macaron to suit the cake. And I'll put some at the back as well. Start with the painting. Okay, I'm just going to put one more on top there just to fill in that gap. There we go. Right. Okay, so I've got a, um, some paints here and I've mixed together the Color Mill blush, yellow, and candy. And I've got a nice peach color that I'm going to be using. And then I've also got um, the Sweet Sticks edible black paint. start by painting on the um, peach color and now we'll go around the black with it with the black
Here's my goose. The last thing I'm going to do is just with a little bit of my gold paint, I'm just going to paint top of that fault line. And that's my fault line leopard print cake. I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.